Hey, hey, you wonderful people, and welcome to a Company of Heroes 2 cast. As you can probably tell, we are here on Langraskaya. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> today we have the Angry Dutchman of all people. My goodness, it's been a while since we've had him on the show, right? And he is up against who I believe is Takao, playing as the Soviets. Now, the angry Dutchman, he is bringing along with him Jaeger Infantry, Defensive Doctrine, and German Infantry. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Takao, let's have a look at him. He is bringing along the good old trusty guard motor coordination tactics along with urban defense and guard rifle combined arms tactics. <clears throat> Not much urban about this rural area. Anywho, opening appears to be uh, completely standard here for both players. And of course, taking some time to wire off some precious green cover. Oh, okay, that guy got loose. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, is he stuck? Really just denying plenty of good green cover here, at least the majority of it. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, looks like the both players may be on a collision course, at least, uh, well, actually both sides. <laughs> or is it? Let's see what Dutchman will go next. He should probably, yeah, now realizing that there are some troops up there. Mm. He has found the enemy still. What is he doing here? Okay, he's denying entrance to the house, at least from this side. The thing is, if he, you also try to now add barbed wire to the other door, then neither of uh, the barbed wires will actually block the door. Unless you actually make one of the, the barbed wires V-shaped, so the door is actually free, but you cannot approach the door. Just a little thing that I picked up a long time ago. <clears throat> Well, Angry Dutchman here, having spotted his opponent on both sides, he's just cutting through right down the middle, grabbing some territory, thus cutting off the cow completely. <clears throat> While this is happening, we should probably quickly talk about the bulletins. Cheaper mines, more accurate conscripts, and the conscripts are trained faster. Meanwhile, the Angry Dutchman is bringing along with him cheaper mines, extended Panzerfaust ability, and faster pack gun production. <clears throat> now, here's something we don't see every time. Dutchman going for a sniper. Sniper gaming! <clears throat> Pretty sure that's uh, gonna annoy Takao. Speaking of which, Takao... He has gone for four conscripts and just one combat engineer. That's usually something we only see uh, when players go for the airborne doctrine. Okay, so a little bit uh, different opening here from Takao and also Dutchman skipping his third grenadier in favor of a sniper. Oh, you found a mine. Let's see, that's the downside of having a flamethrower. <laughs> on your one and only combat engineer, you don't have any minesweepers. We are losing territory. But how? How could that have been a minefield? I couldn't see any of those warning signs when you're going for the S mines. And this definitely looks like an S mine field that blew up. Curious. Anywho, Dutchman, having locked in Jaeger Armor Infantry, well, not Jaeger Armor, but Jaeger Infantry Doctrine. <clears throat> I wonder if they could go inside the garrison and still be able to fire. I think they could, but uh, it's a moot point. Conscripts have already um, cleared the area. Meanwhile, Dutchman is also keeping an eye on his cutoff point here. <clears throat> Just in case Takao should come swooping in for a little uh, cutoff action. Oh, ambush camouflage. You know, they've been given ambush camouflage, you know, their uniforms. So uh, in reality, 
the opponent should only be able to see the heavy machine gun just standing there moving around like it was sentient <laughs> no but it's also being a little bit of camouflage yeah put some leaves on it and uh, it's good pew sniper gaming well Takao, he could just merge one of them, uh, but apparently he's not doing so. He is continuing to push through this machine gun, packing up here, looking to cover his body. And well, okay, now he won't even dare to uh, stick around anymore. And he had just moved his HMG squad as uh, the other conscript squad just goes into where it the HMG could have been useful. But then again, I suppose it did scare off some of the cows. Conscript squads. Oh, there's a little grenade. Counter grenade, though. <laughs> yeah. Grenade pack unlock from Takao. Still. Oh, yeah. There we go. Like a mechanized company now coming up for the Dutchman. Oh. Set the bush on fire. Not exactly the whole world, but uh, it's a start. Jaeger Light, uh, Jaeger Command Squad, now on the field. <clears throat> Bringing with them a wealth of abilities. Though Hold Fire may not be the most useful uh, when they're uh, just running around, not being camouflaged. Anyway. As the Dutchman he has checked up, nothing is yet coming out. He needs a little more manpower for that. We also see that, yeah, Takao also checking up, having his support weapons company at down, followed up by the tank of the battalion command. <clears throat> and the first light vehicle is about to hit the field as Dutchman goes for the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. The 2-2-2 two, two, two will have to need, be careful around these conscripts edge. Each and every one of them is now packing AG grenades. <clears throat> I just wonder, will uh, Takao also go for an AT gun or will he just go for the T-70? He has enough uh, resources, at least fuel, for getting out that T-70. And probably also manpower. I don't see him uh, being capable of spending manpower on just reinforcement. Well, not looking to take that engagement, though he has... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Ha! That hit the rooftop. Didn't quite get the correct angle. Anyway, what the conscripts are about to uh, get hit by is the 2 to 2 If it weren't... Oh, yeah, this just standing there. If it weren't for uh, both players actually being busy microing this engagement over here. There we go. Bottoms up and fall back and thus Takao he is capable of pushing back the, the pioneer squad as they just remained on the point. Meanwhile over there 222 did get snared leaving it vulnerable to uh, the T-70 which should be making a beeline towards it right now. I wonder if Dutchman has something. Yeah okay he's got a grenadier squad there to counter snare. Okay not going for... Uh, not going in for the kill there, allowing the 2-2-2 two to, two to escape. <clears throat> Seeing as Takao didn't really want to risk getting snared because he probably had a feeling that Dutchman would also uh, push out a pack gun. Also, take notice of this here, people. Try to deny your opponent's green cover that he had built, even in the later stages of the game. Hmm. Where's the pack gun? Oh, there it is. I mean, he could have maybe had the MG stay there, take another shot and then allow the pack gun to get a shot in. But then again, he saved the manpower by doing this. Jaegers! Grenadiers getting the weapon upgrades, taking fuel in the name of the Reich. 
Meanwhile, the motherland is also securing their fuel. And now, yeah, T-70 just using, putting that cannon to good use, but it met a, another cannon that's way bigger than the one that it's carrying. Oh, right. Flamethrower dropped. I wonder if Takao, he could get over there and snatch that flamethrower. A conscript squad with a flamethrower is so annoying to be up against. It's like a combat engineer on steroids. Ho ho ho, look at this! Minesweeper and a flamethrower! Bingo! Extra bonus for you. Not much left in this. Anyway, Takao has replaced his lost combat engineer, allowing him to get the repairs in on the C-70, which has just been idling for, um, yeah, for a while. AG grenade, no AG grenade. Flamer, though, flamer. Flamer flames, it burns, which flames tend to do. Machine guns, let it be LMGs or HMGs, just pouring it on. These unsuspecting conscripts. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Yeah, I think that's it. <clears throat> a mortar from Takao, who, by the way, has locked in God Motor. Yeah, well, I can see why he wants to deal with the HMG and also um, the back gun. Given that it's the 120 millimeter uh, mortar here, it is so good versus uh, team weapons and infantry in general when they're standing still which team weapons tends to do for the most of the time did the crew just get an infantry kill ha! all right also now being used to clear um green cover if you don't have any barbed wires and you're an at gun just destroy the cover Right, mortar here. Gunning for the pack gun by the looks of it, but not really having the most of luck. Seeing as the pack gun did relocate itself. New flamethrower has been given there. But Dutchman, I was just thinking, okay, he doesn't have enough munis yet for a telemine, but could be worth it. To put down a tiller mine, seeing as his opponent does not have a mine sweeper. So a tiller mine here, that's just a prime spot to place one of them. Just to get lucky. But then again, with the enemy crawling about there, it's of course somewhat difficult to do. Without getting spotted, that is. How's it going with the um, Dutchman and his weapon upgrades? It appears that all his infantry has been given some sort of upgrade. However, what I'm interested in... Will he also be going for the ambush camouflage on his Grins? Apparently not. He did go for it on one of his HMGs and... Well, actually both of them. Okay, dokey. Mortar fire. Yeah, that hurt a bit. Anyway, who... With double HMGs here... This mortar here is gonna have plenty of targets to deal with. And if Dutchman also gets a uh, another pack on then it may be a little bit too much for one mortar to handle, but then again, that's what Katusha's are for. <laughs> to ease up the workload of uh, this 120 millimeter mortar. Sprint! No! Man. Only Heinrich was fast enough to outrun the Maxim. Sad. Oh, that could be a good. Well, okay. They weren't that clumped up again. Nevertheless, got it off the field for now. Let's check in on this mortar here. Almost up to bit one, having gotten two kills. And already made plenty of craters. All crews have been trained to repair damaged vehicles. Our lines 
Taking fire, running back. Anyway, HMG just ambushing. You know, I was about to say that they jumped out of cover, but uh, that weapon is kind of static. Who's jumping out with a heavy machine gun? And better yet, who's strong enough to carry an HMG? Also, pay attention to this here. The angry Dutchman, after having been revealed, he moved to a new location while still covering uh, the, H, uh, the, the VP. Not just because of uh, the impending doom that the uh, mortar could deliver it onto the uh, machine gun, but also because his opponent just would probably expect that the HMG would stay there and then try to get in on some flanking action, but... Uh, now he's even covering the flank. Might not actually be able to spot all the way up there though, but eh. Sometimes better than sticking in the same spot. What's not a good idea is to remain in your pos current position when you are in fact getting shot at and you are unable to return fire. Hey look, the HMG is gone! Yet, surprise! Well, looks like the ambush benefit apparently didn't kick in. They're supposed to get like five seconds of uh, bonus, ambush bonus, but oh, but that's the mortar. Got you! Didn't get any kills though, but uh, still stuck on two. But good enough to actually get it this chess piece off the board. While I've been uh, looking on to the battlefield, the Angry Dutchman has indeed ticked up. And same is happening now for Takao as he's getting his mechanized armor company down. Boy, he needs it. Well, at least he's got a Siskon out. But... That's his only reliable AT that he currently has on the field. But then again, it's not like Yankee Dutchman could safely dive this AT gun. He'll get snared. And then there is also the T-70 to shoot the uh, in the butt. And then follow up by another AT grenade, presumably. <clears throat> Could also consider laying down some smoke there, but then again... Well, now reloading into incendiary grenade, well that would definitely be a good time to smoke. But... Ah, he lost the vision. So, smoke doesn't matter. Well, the T-70 is still alive, going well. That is, for the time being. <clears throat> Mark target, though. Yeah, okay, he's got a follow-up coming in. And being it's down to half health, well, getting repaired now. Oh, good shot, targeting the repairing pioneers. They are so easy to hit when they repair. Not nah, bounce! Dutchman getting a little lucky. One shot is all that's needed, though, but he's afraid to commit and... Oh... This is an odd engagement? And now he's about to lose his T-70. It's gonna go down. No! Maybe not? Oh! Pack gun! Pack gun! Yikes! And D-Crew Takao saves his, both his tanks? While Dutchman loses one of his pack guns, wow. That engagement... Um... Didn't... yeah, didn't go in uh, Dutchman's favor and... Uh, that might even be an under, understatement. He's uh, even losing his pack gun now. Indefinitely. Having to rebuild it. Oh well. At least Dutchman is trying to 
get a little bit of flanking action going on with his 2 to 2 but uh, so much for flanking it was out there unsupported and uh, it would have been bad if it got caught by say the T-17 which just finished its crew repairs 35 munis yeah but then again needs to be a little careful with those crew repairs the vehicle is immobilized when the repairs are uh, being conducted. Oh, this is a good spot for a rifle grenade. Dutchman agrees. Got half of the crew, plus some damage. More importantly, got it off, allowing the rest of the gang here to move in. However, where's the AT gun? Okay, it's down there. It's down there. It's there to support. Just earned the uh, T-70 its third star. Also, reserve has been called upon, giving them a uh, rate of fire while in rate of fire bonus while in cover. Plus, it also reduced their uh, reinforcement cost per model. But what is this? What is this? Take a look at this down here. Uh, we are seeing it. Oh, sorry. Rather up there. <laughs> up there. It's a stuk. It's a stuk. We are getting a stuk. The Stuk will be stooking about on Langreskaya here, ready to take on the T-34 and the T-70. Though it's going to have to be careful as the uh, Siskon is there, looking rather mean. At least the Dutchman has both his HMG here to annoy the crap out of the uh, Takao. Infantry on the move here, backed up by a Stuk, and the AT gun isn't too far away. Boy, they will need that AT support as Takao, he is keeping his armor on this side of the battlefield. We have an engagement and no reaction yet here from the armor. Okay, there we go, now they're moving. But so is Dutchman, he's got his Stuk primed, loaded and good to go. And there it is, the T-70 just sprinting to action. One more shot could take it down, but it managed to escape the firing arc or the pack. And well, he's actually still going. Legend has, he's still going to this day. <laughs> break, guy, break. And it was at this point that Ivan knew the brakes <laughs> had broken. <clears throat> so, Katusha, I like that. That ought to make short work of uh, the one and only pack gun that remains, or for that matter of fact, the um, machine guns. That is, of course, if the Katusha can hit, it tends to scatter a lot at uh, max distance. <clears throat> Dutchman moving out there, but getting caught in the maxim but he's actually winning versus the maxim here oh my god that's just ridiculous and only when the sis gun opened up for its barrage the guys retreated man that was so bad one by one the maxim gunner got gunned down before they could squeeze the trigger Anywho, G43s with their uh, signature pew 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 sounds sends the conscripts running back, back to their T-34. <clears throat> well, this Katusha here is dangerously close to its firing arc, but... Oh yeah, look at that! Close range Katusha. Doing the job it was meant to do. A little golf clap. Good job, Katusha. Anywho, Dutchman, he is like, oh yeah? Well, you can play that game. As he's getting out his Panzerwerfer. Oh. Pack on. You're dead and gone. Pack on. You're completely dead and gone now. Pack on. 
What now? Said the Katusha to the mortar. And the mortar replied, Comrade, now we'll bomb machine gun. But we cannot fight machine gun. They're hiding. No worries, comrade. I've been on battlefield for long. I know where they hide. Trust me. Look at this. Boom. Or he might actually be going for some of these boys. <laughs> Airstrike. What? Where? Oh, there. Onto the T-70. It's going... What? Excuse me? Not really sure what. I thought it was um, the um, fragmentation bomb, but yeah, it's the regular strafing run. Odd. Maybe Dutchman? No, I don't think Dutchman mis mistook it for a fragmentation bombing run. Only I can be that stupid. <laughs> Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. So. Well, there it is. I was just thinking about what Dutchman he should get next. Will he be going for a Stug or a regular AT gun? The Stug would, of course, be uh, almost immune to the indirect fire that uh, Takao is fielding. While the... Um, AG gun certainly outranges the Stug. Can the uh, pack on? Yeah, okay, it ma actually managed to get onto the battlefield. <clears throat> How long are we supposed to stay here? Like that, they got the order to retreat. Just raise the flag and we can all go home. At least for a few moments. Boink. Well, six kills. Yeah. Continuing to do the work. Wow, what is... Well, I don't know what the Siskon was doing there. Did he know the Stuke was down there? Probably. Actually, Takao is doing... Very well right now. He has got Angry Dutchman in an Iron Fist triple cap. <clears throat> well, Dutchman, it's time to bust the move and make the magic happen. But, oh, I think... Yeah, these boys got hit hard by uh, the Caddy Barrage. And now, HMG getting forced off the field by a Light Barrage there and... Grenadiers getting pushed back by armored support. We got one of the smaller ones too. And that's the end of, um, almost the end of Dutchman's push. Though we won't be able to have this squad on here for much longer, I suspect. What is this? Oh, it's up there. All right. Got the sis gun, and this guy decides to kamikaze the enemy for one her last heroic deed. <clears throat> Alright, he's not reinforcing. He is saving up for... Could it be a panther? Or broom bear? Well, I think he'll go panther to help out versus these boys here and get the pedal mounted machine gun upgrade it'll also have some good effect versus uh, the infantry dudes up there okay now he's just reinforced this guy and coming out so he's not strictly saving up for something yet but at least he's got this uh, all out of war all out of war all out war passive ability making it cheaper to reinforce some of his squads Point. <laughs> did he kill? Yeah, by the looks of it, he did get a pioneer and now. Whoa! Stug narrowly avoids that Siskon shot. In fact, Dutchman went for neither of those options. He's going for another Stug. Well, color me surprised. Oh, 
Well, Dutchman, you have to act fast. You're bleeding points. Almost below a hundred. 105 and counting down. Losing three points per tick. Yeesh. At least this kid morpher is good to go. Let's see if it can get some kills. So far, it haven't uh, had the most of luck by the looks of uh, its kill count. Where is it going to strike? It's probably waiting for a push and then to bomb a Siskon. Even though he did decrew one of the Siskons. And oh, there it is. Fire? No, not yet. Okay. 2-2-2 two, two, two going ham. Managing to hide behind a sight blocker. Still no uh, shots fired from uh, the Raketenwerfer. Okay. Okay, now now, we, now it's happening. Just as the Siskon is falling back. Might actually get the squad here, but nope. Too late. Well, at least he swept the mine. <laughs> Uh, okay, and got two kills. So, make it three kills, actually. Hmm. Well, well, not too bad then, I suppose. Given the circumstances that uh, the Siskon and the gang were already retreating by the time uh, it had begun launching. Fire, and fire, and artillery fire. That's basically a lot of fire here on the middle ground. Should consider retreating those boys. There we go. Kept them around long enough. Making me anxious. Caddy now trying to return the favor, but didn't have... Oh, I spoke too soon. Did have some success. So how's it going, conscripts? Yeah... Keep on shocking. At least. Okay. Managed to get out there and the suppression will probably, uh, yeah, it's going away. That was actually pretty fast. And now they are free to move up. Capture. Oh, 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 oh. One Stuk is in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, that guy couldn't handle the heat. Coming in there. We need another Stuk over there. Oh, this this could actually be deadly. Surprise! Mwah. Double wipe. And now the C-17 trying to get some revenge done here, but... We only got a tiny baby turret and couldn't do that much damage to the pencil for Oh, no, now the T-34 is dead. <laughs> Stooks with the takedown. Did decrew the um the pack gun though, but uh, this time around Takao is not in a position to destroy it. Man, that was so good by the Panzerwerfer. And then to top it all off, getting rid of the T-34. And well that's a plane that's down there. Caddy! Trying to mimic the Panzerwerfer's success. No luck. No luck. That was actually what I'd consider a shotgun blast from that Katusha. Meanwhile, pack gun for rent. Call now 555 pack gun to rent yours today. <clears> oh, <throat> ho, ho, ho. surprise! No, Just keep keep that trigger squished. Oh, at least the cow's mortar here is uh, continuing to do its thing. Again, another one. Mm, not quite. Not quite. Well, here's some armor. Looking armory. Could also uh, get the crew repairs in, seeing as he only has, well, besides the crew repair, the uh, mark vehicle ability in his command loadout.
Well, at least Takao, I'd say he has a uh, good army composition here. I mean, also a fully popcat. You would also think that, well, maybe he could use uh, another regular infantry squad to cap with, but uh, his uh, T70 being that free is also capable of capping. In fact, it only needs that one for it to use the uh, the secure mode, I believe. Yeah, veteran C1 is, uh, is enough. While the other star CEO is, of course, improving its uh, mobility. Or is it? Mm, yeah, navigates the battlefield with ease. Increased awareness, rounding, and boink! T70! Well, oh, that'll teach you with making fun of my tiny cannon! And it's like, oh yeah, you want a big cannon? Said the Stook. Stand still so I can hit you! Stand still! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Oh, you big bully! I'm going home! Screw you! <laughs> and thus the T7C went back home, never to be heard from again. Or not. <laughs> How's it going for you, Angry Dutchman? 17 points! Oh yeah, you're doing just fine, aren't you? <laughs> And looking at the pop cap here, it's still Takao who uh, should easily be capable of squishing the angry Dutchman like a little tiny bug. But the Stukes are there, standing proud, defending uh, Deutschland and Dutchman. Burn, baby, burn. Yep. Yeah. Leave my one and only VP. Well, he's actually going for triple cap now, and boy, he needs that triple cap to happen. Otherwise, uh, I would expect Takao to easily uh, get the majority of the VPs. Seeing he's got indirect fire, he got armor superiority, and uh, well. His conscripts may be lacking, but then again, what he lacks in infantry, he makes up for in armor. <clears throat> Though he has gone for the, the bigger T-34s, I believe in most cases, 85, 85, and 76. <clears throat> A little bit of light artillery coming down. My money is on this spot. No, this spot. Counter, counter something. What is this? Wow. If that is actually a warning sign for the uh, light artillery barrage, which was there, but it hit over there. Eh, that's kind of odd. One thing I've noticed is Dutchman, he's been spending his muni on this year, and that would probably explain the reason why we're not seeing the pendle mounted machine guns. Well, rest in pieces. There goes a uh, conscript squad for Takao. So much for the superior army composition now. <clears throat> By the looks of it, Dutchy should be able to, uh, you know, beat these armor here. Huh. Curious. I was just sitting and wondering. Would it be worth the Takao to backtick and get some penals? No. Maybe some guards to eat a little bit away at the, the Stuksh every now and then, forcing a Dutchman to, you know, pay more attention to them and spend some micro time repairing them. Yeah, I think he could actually have gone with guards instead of another conscript squad here. See, in this case here, he would be punching holes into a stook with some guards rather than some conscripts. Doink, Siskon. Yeah, doing work there against one of the stooks. But T70 is back with a vengeance and it's like, nye, nye, you can't hit me. Well, in fact, it could, but nye, you can't destroy me. <laughs> So, um, 
Yeah, the Stug is just forced back to go back, but you know, the Stug is a big boy. Not being taunted by the little T70, he just waits his time. Waiting for the perfect moment to take it down, that little pesky bugger. More flanking action. Stug caught alone out here. But in fact, it is it who has caught the T-34 alone. At least for now, this gun turning about there. This Stug here is going down without getting any trade, I'd say. Yeah, that, that was a bit of a waste. Uh, didn't quite get uh, anything with his light artillery barrage either. I mean, got some model drops, but no decrews. Sad panda. How's the repairs coming? Oh, you're all the way over there. At least he's got crew repair to help him. And plenty of munis to go, for that matter. Yeah, not enough um, pop cap available for him to get the guards out. And again, Dutchman now sitting at six points. Uh, but still, he's going for triple cap. The winning strategy here is just to outbleed the cow. I don't think he can deliver a knockout blow to him. Not with this huge army that the cow has. Uh-uh. rat a tat tat More rat a tat tat as the Maxim sets up. Looking to... Oh, there's a bigger machine gun down there. A bigger rat a tat tat Well, at least the T-34... <laughs> Gipped that guy. Whew. Well, at least the uh, infantry here is pinned. Making them unable to move in and begin uh, decapping. Well, Maxim. Now, well, I thought he would be sending it into uh, the uh, into the capping circle. Do we have an AT grenade? No, I don't think so. It wouldn't make much uh, of a difference either. Anyway, 100 point here. Dutchman is making the comeback seem more possible by every single tick that's going on here oh conscript squad lost and again he's going for the okay there no he's going for more tanks he cancels the conscripts and then i thought okay now he's getting out the guards but no to cow going for more armor despite being free stooks on the battlefield free of them he must be planning a dive and knockout blow but he has to deliver that blow fast he is bleeding so many points uh, oh no no we just lost the katusha i would love to see him get some guards out here the guards could also be capable of buttoning one of the stooks blinding them and slowing them down allowing a uh, takao's tanks to rotate in and you know get around take them down Oh, there it is. It has decapped one, but trying to get rid of the machine gun here. Fully vetted. 85 bounces on the Stook. That's not what Takao needed. Well, at least he gets a miss in return. <laughs> so, I suppose that's all right. But what's not all right is 39 points hits a mine, apparently. Stuk takes down here. It looks like it's all falling apart from Takao. He lost the Sis gun. His, all his armor in such a poor state. Uh, he, well, there's a broom bear, but... <laughs> and the broom bear destroys the 85. Oh, no. And he's just six points shy of winning this game here, but... Look at his pop cap. It used to be 100 and now it's 40. Well, actually, 21. Raising the white flag here. Surrender. Surrender. Oh. 
He must have left already. Yeah, I'm not seeing any reinforcement, anything being built. No more orders being issued. I say this game is over. And Dutchman didn't quite cap the point. <laughs> ah, there we go. Playback over. Right. Hope you enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe if you did. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And I will see you next time. Bye.